Remember how at school, your drawing teacher told you to draw a combination of several animals, so that in the end, a new fantastic, or rather mutated, animal came out. Did you remember? Okay, I remembered that, and it made me cringe remembering my drawings. In this video, we will talk about 10 animals that have mutated and have unique capabilities, which at first may seem fantastic and not for our world. Let's start with less mutated animals, and to the most legendary mutations. The Dancing Peacock Spider. Imagine a creature so small it could sit on your fingernail, yet so vibrant it could outshine many larger beings. Meet the peacock spider, a tiny arachnid that's a big sensation in the world of animal mutations. Hailing from Australia, these spiders are famous not just for their strikingly colorful abdomens, but for their unique mating ritual that resembles a dance. Each species of peacock spider has its own distinct pattern of iridescent colors, making them the fashionistas of the spider world. But it's their courtship dance that really steals the show. The male peacock spider, in an effort to impress the less colorful but highly discerning female, performs an elaborate dance. He raises his abdomen, vibrates his legs, and flaps his fan-like extensions in a rhythmic display that's as hypnotic as it is entertaining. This tiny dancer's performance isn't just for show, it's a critical part of their survival. A misstep or a lackluster display can mean the difference between finding a mate and being ignored. But it's not all about love. This dance also serves as a visual warning to predators, a flashy display of look but don't touch. The peacock spider's mutation, the fusion of art and survival, challenges our perceptions of spiders. Far from the creepy crawlers of nightmares, these spiders bring color and charisma into the micro world, reminding us that nature often saves its most spectacular secrets for those willing to look a little closer. The two-headed snake. Ever been in a situation where you can't decide if you want pizza or sushi for dinner? Well, imagine that dilemma, but you're a snake with two heads, each with its own idea of what's tasty. Welcome to the world of the two-headed snake, a creature that puts a whole new twist on the phrase, two heads are better than one. Found in various parts of the world, these serpents are the result of a rare mutation during the embryonic development, leading to a phenomenon known as bicephaly. Yes, it sounds like a spell from Harry Potter, but it's actually a real-life marvel. Each head has its own brain, and they often have different ideas about how to do snake things, like which direction to slither or which prey to strike. But it's not all fun and games. Life as a two-headed snake comes with its challenges. Imagine trying to coordinate dinner plans when one head wants a mouse and the other is craving a frog. Talk about a food fight! And with each head vying for control, these snakes often find themselves in a literal tug of war. Despite the challenges, two-headed snakes have adapted to their unique situation, proving that even in the animal kingdom, Teamwork makes the dream work, even if it's involuntary teamwork. They remind us that nature's oddities can be as fascinating as they are humorous. Next time you're struggling to make a decision, just be thankful you're not a two-headed snake trying to agree on which way to slither. The see-through frog. Picture this. You're a frog, but not just any frog. You're the see-through frog, nature's version of a living, hopping x-ray machine. Found in the rainforests of Central and South America, these amphibians are like the superheroes of the frog world if superheroes could make their organs visible, that is. With skin as clear as a freshly cleaned window, these little hoppers give a whole new meaning to the phrase being transparent with your feelings. You can literally see their hearts beating and their stomachs digesting, which, let's be honest, is both amazing and slightly unnerving. It's like having a biology lesson every time you look at them. No textbook needed. But why the clear skin? Well, it's all about survival. In the dense rainforest where hiding is key, being able to blend in with your surroundings is a top priority. And what better way to hide than by being almost invisible? It's the ultimate, now you see me. Now you don't trick, take notes, magicians. This transparent trickery isn't just for show. It's an evolutionary marvel. But it does come with its downsides. Sunburn, for instance, is a real concern. No kidding. Imagine trying to find sunscreen that works when you're see-through. SPF 1000, anyone? The see-through frog reminds us that sometimes, being transparent is more than just an admirable quality. It's a way of life. So next time you're feeling a little exposed, just remember, at least you're not a frog giving everyone a clear view of your lunch. The Immortal Jellyfish. Imagine if every time you got old, you could just hit the reset button and start all over again. Welcome to the life of the Immortal Jellyfish, nature's very own Benjamin Button of the Sea. These tiny sea creatures, barely the size of a pinky nail, have stumbled upon the secret to eternal youth, and they're not sharing it. Found in oceans worldwide, the immortal jellyfish, or Turritopsis dorni if you want to get scientific, has an incredible ability to reverse its aging process. 
When it gets old or sick, it can transform its cells back to a juvenile state. Basically, it turns back into a baby. Talk about a midlife crisis solution. But it's not all fun and eternal youth. Imagine going through puberty again. And again. And again. Sure, avoiding death sounds great, but endless adolescence? No, thank you. Plus, they still can be eaten by predators. So much for immortality, right? This jellyfish's party trick has scientists scratching their heads in amazement. It's like they've got the cheat codes for life but forgot to share them with the rest of us. But let's be real. If humans had this ability, we'd just spend our extra time watching more Netflix. So next time you're feeling old, just remember the immortal jellyfish who literally refuses to grow up. It's living proof that sometimes, the best way to move forward is to hit the rewind button. The flying snake. Next up, imagine a snake with a frequent flyer program. Meet the flying snake, nature's original daredevil, proving that you don't need wings to soar through the skies. These slithery aerialists are found in South and Southeast Asia, and they've mastered the art of tree-to-tree -tree travel without the hassle of traffic. Now, before you start picturing snakes with tiny pilot hats and goggles, let's set the record straight. They don't really fly, they glide. They climb up trees, then launch themselves into the air, flattening their bodies into a ribbon-like shape. It's like a magic carpet ride, but with scales. The sight of a flying snake in action is something to behold. They wiggle through the air with such grace, you'd think they were auditioning for Snakes on a Plane, the ballet. They're the evil Knievels of the reptile world, but with better navigation skills. Why do they do it? It's all about efficiency. Why slither around obstacles when you can just glide over them? Plus, it's a great way to escape predators or surprise a tasty meal. It's the ultimate drop-in dinner invitation. So, next time you're stuck in traffic, just think of the flying snake. Sure, they might not have in-flight snacks or movies, but they've definitely nailed the art of getting from A to B with style. And the best part? No turbulence! The Vampire Deer Welcome to the world of the Vampire Deer, an animal that sounds like it jumped straight out of a Halloween special. But don't worry, these deer won't be starring in Twilight anytime soon. Found in Asia, these gentle creatures are more into grazing fields than prowling in graveyards. Now what makes them vampiric? It's their fangs! Yes, you heard that right. Instead of the typical antlers, male vampire deers or water deer as they're formerly known, sport long, sharp canine teeth. They might sound like nature's version of Dracula, but in reality, they're as dangerous as a bunny with a bad attitude. These fangs aren't for sucking blood, though. They're used in male-to-male -male combat during mating season. It's like watching a fencing match, but cuter and with more fur. And when they're not showing off their fangs, they're probably nibbling on some grass contemplating their next move in the deer world. So why the fangs and not antlers? Evolution likes to throw curveballs, and in the case of the vampire deer, it decided that teeth were cooler than antlers. Who are we to argue with evolution's fashion sense? Next time you're thinking about a vampire, forget about the capes and coffins. Think about the vampire deer, a creature that combines the charm of Bombi with the teeth of Count Dracula. They're the reminder that in the animal kingdom, sometimes the most bizarre features come in the most adorable packages. The Glaucus Atlanticus, Blue Dragon. Get ready to meet the ocean's very own superhero, the Glaucus Atlanticus, or as it's more fabulously known, the Blue Dragon. This tiny sea slug, found in oceans worldwide, is the Clark Kent of the sea world, unassuming at first glance, but secretly mighty. First off, let's talk about its stunning looks. The Blue Dragon is a fashion icon with its vibrant blue and silver colors. If the ocean had a red carpet, this little creature would be turning heads and making waves, literally. But it's not just a pretty face. The blue dragon is a fierce predator with a taste for danger. It feeds on venomous jellyfish, including the Portuguese man o' war. It's like eating a bowl of spicy noodles, but the noodles can kill you. And here's the kicker. The blue dragon stores the jellyfish's venom in its own body, making it a tiny, floating, venomous arsenal. Talk about having a sting in your tail. This sea slug is the ultimate do not judge a book by its cover story. It floats upside down, using the surface tension of the water to get around. Imagine if you could walk by sticking to the ceiling Spider-Man style, but in the ocean and much cooler. So next time you're feeling a bit ordinary, remember the blue dragon. It may be small, but it's a reminder that even the tiniest creatures can be full of surprises. It's the ocean's reminder that sometimes the most beautiful things can also be the most badass. The axolotl. Step right up and meet the axolotl, the cutest resident of the regeneration nation. This smiley-faced amphibian, hailing from the canals of Mexico City, is like a real-life Pokémon with incredible healing powers. Seriously, if there were a superhero team for animals, the axolotl would be the wolverine. What makes the axolotl so special? Well, for starters, it can regenerate almost any part of its body. Lose a limb? No problem! 
the axolotl just grows a new one. Even more impressive, it can regenerate parts of its heart and brain. If only we could regenerate our brain cells after a long night out, right? But wait, there's more! The axolotl is also a master of disguise because it remains in its larval stage its entire life. This means it keeps its youthful gills and aquatic lifestyle forever. The eternal teenager of the animal world. Who wouldn't want to avoid adulting forever? Despite their superpowers, axolotls are sadly endangered in the wild. It turns out that even superheroes have their kryptonite, which in this case is habitat loss and pollution. So the next time you're feeling down about not hitting the gym, just remember the axolotl. It's living proof that you don't need to be big and muscular to be powerful. Sometimes the most extraordinary abilities come in the most adorable, guild packages. Plus, who else can say they can grow their limbs back and still look cute while doing it? The Pink Fairy Armadillo. Imagine a creature that looks like it walked straight out of a fantasy novel. Meet the Pink Fairy Armadillo, the world's smallest and most enchanting armadillo species. Found in the central plains and sandy dunes of Argentina, this little critter could easily be mistaken for a character in a whimsical fairy tale. First off, let's address the pink in the room. Yes, this armadillo is literally pink. Not the, I'm slightly sunburned pink, but a soft rosy hue that would make it the envy of any pastel color palette. It's like nature decided to try its hand at interior decorating. But don't let its delicate appearance fool you. The pink fairy armadillo is a burrowing powerhouse. With its large, sharp claws, it can dig faster than a group of kids at a beach looking for treasure. It's like watching a mini bulldozer in action if bulldozers were cute and wore pink. Now you might be wondering why fairy in its name? Well, it's not because it grants wishes or has magical powers. It's actually because of its diminutive size. This little guy is only about five to six inches long. That's about the size of a teacup, making it more fairy-sized than armadillo-sized. The pink fairy armadillo is a nocturnal creature, spending most of its day underground. It's like the introvert of the armadillo world, avoiding sunlight and social interactions. Relatable, right? So next time you're reading a fantasy novel, spare a thought for the real-life whimsical creature the pink fairy armadillo. It's a reminder that sometimes the most magical things aren't just in stories. They're burrowing away in the plains of Argentina, probably avoiding the sun and socializing, just like the rest of us. If you know other animals that have fantastic abilities, I'm waiting for your story in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and let me know if you want the next part. Bye!